what's happening guys I got a slow boat from China for you today and as you can see this package is already opened and the reason for that is I couldn't remember what I ordered I didn't remember ordering anything then I opened it and I'm like ah, well, of course so this is the remainder of my order from the Banggood 11th anniversary sale Let's start out with this piece. This guy here is a Wemos whoops, D1 mini shield with a 0.64 I squared C OLED on it. So that will go very nicely for our D1 Mini projects. And as you can see, it comes with the nice long pass-through headers. I like those. All right, sticking with our D1 Mini theme. Up next is a micro SD card shield. Again, you know, same form factor fits on there real nice and this will allow us to do a little bit of data logging up next I don't want to come out Arduino Nanos. They were a dollar twenty a piece, so I bought a couple of those. Couldn't pass it up. I use Nanos in probably eighty-five percent of my projects. Let's get the magnifying glass out here. Just make sure that those are CH three forties. I'm I'm pretty sure they are. Yeah. I don't know if you guys can read that, but CH340s. So, that's the haul. I know there's not much there today, but, uh, oh yeah, there's another Nano, but there's no reason to open it. I showed you everything we've got. I think next I might uh, put these shields together. You guys hang around for a few minutes if you want, but if you got something else to do, go ahead. I don't mind. All right, so we're going to put these shields together, and uh, we have to be careful how we solder everything together, orientation, and whatnot. So if we look here, you know, you can see the markings, and what we need to make sure we do is line up those markings with the markings of the other boards that already have their headers installed. So that's how this is going to go on. These are going to go down through the top. We're getting the holes, there we go. And that will allow us to plug into this board and add another board. So I took the regular headers that came with it and I just put them in a little breadboard here and I'm going to use that as my soldering jig and that will allow me to keep everything nice and neat I hope. So just a little dab of solder on the tip of the iron for thermal transfer. Good. I just want to make sure we're relatively straight. Solder in opposite corner. And before I go any further. I just want to double check. Yep. 
that we are having our pins in the proper orientation otherwise there could be trouble right here in River City with capital T that rhymes with P and that stands for Paul because he tends to solder things wrong can't believe I blew up that battery board oh well there'll be another one here in a couple days And uh, I'll just order some of those Walkera connectors. That'll probably make everything go just a little bit smoother. Less chance of uh, screwing the pooch, as it were, right? Now, I don't have an extra SD card today. So I won't be able to demo this SD card shield, but I've done a video on data logging. So that shouldn't be too hard to find. If I think of it, I'll put a link down below, but if you guys have been watching this channel for any length of time, you know I forget a whole lot of stuff. Okay. So TX, reset. nice so now we have a data logging Wemos next up is our OLED and once again gotta make sure we get everything in the right positions I'll be right back all right so a slight miscalculation by me and the original soldering on of the original header means that I had to the little clues here but if you're not everything is going to work out just fine assuming I can get the holes to line up come on baby come on the hole is your home you want to go home. Who would have thought? Solder's damn hard to bend. One moment. Just a small bit of coaxing. And it went on just fine. So this uses the SSD 1306 driver chip, Oops. which is the same driver we find in our 0.96 LED OLEDs and our 1.2 inch OLEDs. So either the Adafruit SSD 1306 driver or the um, ESP8266 specific driver should work just fine and before I let you guys go today we will test it out just to make sure everything's working So, there it is all soldered and stuff. We have our OLED on the bottom, our um, D1 Mini in the middle, and our um, micro SD card there. And we can finish up by putting the DHT11 and Ooh, I got some solder bridge. And did you guys notice that? That's 
That tastes no bueno. There we go. Solder bridge gone oh. All right, let me upload a sketch and we'll check out and make sure it's functioning. Okay, well, I was sort of wrong about the Adafruit SSD 1306 library. It can be made to work and I believe there is a fork of it out there that'll work, but I don't want to get it confused because I use it for my 0.96 OLED. So just a slight bit of research leads me to the SparkFun micro OLED library, which is built specifically for this screen. And it works a treat. So I feel a, I feel a project coming up. Some sort of a modification of the hiker's friend with a clock. Yes. And as soon as I get my 3D printer from Banggood, we'll make a case. If I can put the thing together and make it work. But you never know. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, give me the old thumbs up. And of course, you, thumb me down. Uh, you haven't, you've missed a couple. I, I feel left out, like you don't care anymore. I'm sad. Not really. I don't give a shit. Thumb up, thumb down, whatever. It's all interaction as far as the YouTube algorithm is concerned. All right, I'm out. Peace.